Hi there. In this lesson, we're going to look at two of the most popular CSS frameworks available to website designers and developers. As you know, CSS styling rules can be applied to various classes, tags, IDs, and more in your HTML files. CSS frameworks are basically a library of pre-built CSS styles, components, and other elements that come ready to use out of the box. These frameworks are often free and can include additional items such as icons, fonts, and animations. Bootstrap is by far one of the most popular CSS frameworks available. It's even used on the CodeHS website. Bootstrap includes a variety of components, an icon library, and even a template marketplace full of pre-built web pages using the framework. Bootstrap is one of several resources where you can obtain icons for a variety of web applications and sites. Some components included in Bootstrap and often found in other CSS frameworks are stylized buttons, menus, navigation bars, and image carousels. A newer and also very popular CSS framework is Tailwind CSS. Tailwind includes various classes that can be applied directly to your HTML files, making them more dynamic and interactive. Tailwind CSS includes pre-built light and dark mode styling to allow your website visitors to toggle the styles based on their preferences. Here are some of the pre-built design styles available in the Tailwind CSS framework. Tailwind also makes it easy to remove any CSS not used in your web project to reduce website loading time. A CSS framework can easily be added to your web projects using a stylesheet link and a JavaScript CDN, or Content Delivery Network link. These links are placed within the head tag of your HTML file. Here you can see the stylesheet link is called for the Bootstrap CSS framework. Below that is the Bootstrap JavaScript. Creating a web project on CodeHS, these links are added to the HTML template provided so you can quickly begin using Bootstrap components and styling. Let's take a look at how some of the Bootstrap components can be added to your HTML file once the Bootstrap framework links are created. CSS frameworks often rely on classes. To call on a specific component or styling, you add a class to your HTML elements, such as div tags and anchor tags. In this example, you can see two different div tags. The first indicates that the row bootstrap class should be used to align the buttons in a row. The second div tag extends the bootstrap grid system and puts the buttons into a 12 column layout. Each anchor tag also includes two bootstrap classes. The first calls on the BTN or button component. The second class styles the button with one of the six primary button types in Bootstrap. This code produces the buttons shown. You'll have an opportunity to explore more Bootstrap button styles in this lesson. Now that you know a little bit more about two of the most popular CSS frameworks, let's start digging deeper into some examples that show how these frameworks can make a website really pop.